Everything should say yes right here. That's all you need, really. And you can check these two. But they should all be fine if you're on buy it host. Hit next. Read it. You need to read the license before hitting next. Okay. Here you'll need to put in your host information for your database. So you make sure you have selected MySQL, not MySQLI. MySQL. Go back to your control panel for your host. Get your host name. Your host name is right here under your account information. Copy it. Paste it in here. Go back and get your your username for your SQL. Copy it. Paste it in here. The password you chose when you ins created your hosting account and your database name. If you don't remember your database name, you can go back to your control panel and click on MySQL databases under database management. And here you'll find your your username. Now your username will not be the exact user the database name will not be the exact database name you chose. It's going to have your login before your database name you chose. So I chose Joomla and my name is my username underscore Joomla. That's my database name. It's not just the name you chose. Okay. Paste it in there. You should be ready to go. Hit next. If you want to add your FTP information here, which is recommended, you're going to go back to your control panel, get your FTP username, your FTP password, which is the same password you use to log in, and your FTP root should be the same right here. You're going to hit enable. Or you can hit auto find your path ah. for this you m we're going to need to go to advanced settings the FTP host yes we need to change our FTP host okay so you're going to take this FTP host right here the same one you used on FileZilla and hit copy paste it in here Your host port should be 21. Hit verify. Okay, this will not work with this host. So we're just going to hit no and hit next. Your site name for your Joomla site, I'm going to call mine test. Your email address. I'm going to call mine test at test.com. your password that you would like to use for your account confirm it now if you've never worked with the Joomla site before you might want to install sample data so you can see where things go on your Joomla site so for this tutorial we are going to install the sample data click it 
the sample data was installed successfully and hit next. Alright, now we are finished here. Go back to your FileZilla, refresh your server on FileZilla, or reconnect if you have to, and find your installation folder that you copied over to the server and delete it. And this may take a while. I'm going to pause the video until this is finished. So you don't have to stay, sit here and watch it. Okay, once that's finished, go back to your web browser and hit admin. It's going to take you to your login page. Your username is admin and the password you chose when you installed Joomla. Alright, and here's your control panel. That means Joomla is successfully installed. And you can view your site by clicking preview. And you can see you have a new Joomla site. You can see fluisgreat.org is this Joomla site. Thank you.